the time. Emmanuel, would you like to take that one in terms of the, um, you know, can you build an AI startup with no code? Sure. You're right. I mean, that's a question that over the years um, is, is like the most frequent question we get uh, to, to, to our team is really, hey, I have an idea. Can I build this? So to talk specifically about the AI example you're giving, it's actually a good one to ask because on that one, I think the risk, it depends a little bit of what you're talking about. If you're trying to build something that leverages AI technologies that have been created by another service, which is most of the time what you would do, and it's exposed via an API, yes, knockout technologies now are very much able, capable of a bubble in particular to you know, connect with external services uh, if needed. So let's say, for instance, you want to use you know, Google's uh, machine learning API uh, to do some image recognition or image processing. That's very much the kind of things you could do with bubble. That said, and I think it's really important to be honest about what you can do and not do with knockout technologies. Otherwise, you know, it's very harmful for the whole movement. If you were telling me I would like to define a new algorithm to recognize things in pictures that no one else has done before, then no, no code is not the way to do that. That the kind of things you would do with code. And it's, it's not a problem, you know, that's why sometimes, you know, I don't like no code because it kind of antagonizes people. Like no coders and coders should work together. So the way it would work is you hire a coder that defines these new algorithms that has not been written before and the no coder, so the business co-founder would be the one building the product. That is definitely possible. Love it. Um, so I, I'd like to open up if anyone has uh, additional comments around that. Um, I like to say that you can actually build, uh, you know, if you need to build a, a custom algorithm, you can just build it on the side with code and then you can bring it into the stack. And I think that that's yeah. like a, a good way which still means that no code is the right is a good approach to it. It's just saying that there are certain things that still can't be built. And I say that, um, but I'm receiving more and more people think that we're investors, and so they send me more and more decks. I guess it's because of the fact that I, I used to run an accelerator. But more and more decks of people who are building um, sort of ways to build, uh, um, you know, AR modules and bring them into no code stacks. Um, you know, I, the recent thing with Bubble and Pelterion as well for AI is super exciting. And I think that more and more we're seeing these things uh, move forward. But I, I want to address something. I think fundamentally people don't really, like a lot of founders go into this. They want to build the AR of this, the machine learning of that. And a lot of people fundamentally don't really understand that technology, which is totally fine. But just understand that when you're trying to build models like that, you need to have a, a significant amount of data so that any kind of machine learning can even take place. So maybe like taking a little moment to understand what you're talking about, which usually is solving a problem, and machine learning and AI might be a, a way to accelerate that, but in the end of the day, you're trying to solve a problem, and that's what people will be willing to pay for. Um, yeah, so, so are any other comments? Levon, Michael, Arun? Yeah, I, I could say that part of our business is a consulting business, so we are providing uh, custom web development services to people who who want to get something built. And in these years, when you said what's, what's possible, we, like, it's been almost five years, and it, we haven't seen many cases when we said to clients that we can't build that right and there were they would most most often um then you know, rather than not that there will be s s workarounds or some possibilities to solve uh, a, a complex or challenging technical issue that the um, uh, client wants to solve and yeah and he, as you correctly mentioned that even if it's not possible to be built with the uh, no code platform itself it's always possible to have it you know Built some or or solve somewhere else, and then just incorporate it because it's still going to be part of a, a web application, a mobile application, right? And so that can be the the whole surrounding part and the interface and and all these kind of things can be built and easily built without code. And the um, the, the complex part can be built with code outside and just just integrated into the application. Love that. 